respected dear family members, my pranams to you. For the last two, three days, we were explaining the Indian heritage for creating a sense of pride, a sense of self-confidence and our sense of self-respect in the mind of Hindus, Christians and the Muslims. It's because all the Indian Christians, they are all converted Hindus. All the Indian Muslims, they are also converted Hindus. According to Swami Chinmayananda, all the Indians come under two categories. One, those who are Hindus and the other, those who were Hindus. By different methods, they got converted from Hindu Dharma and none of the Christians belonging to India came from Israel or Jerusalem. None of the Muslim has their origin in Saudi Arabia or Middle East. They are born as Indians, brought up as Indians and living as Indians and will be dying as Indians. Majority will be dying in Indian soil and some may be dying in foreign soil. And not only that, there are one billion Hindus in the world, in India and outside India, together. They feel a sense of inferiority complex because their knowledge about Hindu Dharma is not to the expected extent. Whereas whatever little the Christians know about their Bible, they scream, they shout and they say everything is there in the Bible. And whatever little the Muslims know from Quran, they are taught to tell that everything is there in the Quran. Everything needed for the human beings are given in Quran. Whereas Hindus always used to be reluctant to claim anything. They live the way they would like to live, <clears throat> where the religion has got less influence. Christians and Muslims, the religion is more important and perhaps most important because after the birth they have to go to the church and mosque for the marriage or wedding they have to go to the mosque and church and for the cremation also they have to go to the church and mosque. So starting point, middle point and end point they are connected or tied and chained with the religious institution whereas for the Hindus after birth it need not be a part of the religion or customs and ritual to go to the temple. If they want they can go. For the marriage also, you, they need not conduct the marriage in the temples. And after death, 10 days, even the relatives cannot go to the temple. The question of taking the dead body to the temple never arises at all. So, we, we Hindus have got a sense of inferiority complex, maybe 950 years of slavery done under the Muslim and Christian rules, the foreign Muslim and foreign Christian rules for removing and erasing of that sense of inferiority complex for the last 2-3 days we are explaining to be proud of Hindu Dharma which is the most logical, rational and scientific in the world. As Albert Einstein also told 
you know that when we in the European countries were wandering in the forest, there lived the most civilized people who knew mathematics and the science and technology in India. And Mark Twain said, under which roof all the knowledge are available. Mark Twain said, I will point out to a country where every branch of the knowledge existed complementary to each other for millennia. According to Mark Twain, the country is India. So it's important for us to learn scientifically, logically about the heritage of India, Hindu heritage of India for creating a sense of self-respect and pride. We explained about Jnana Yoga, Karma Yoga and Bhakti Yoga. After that we explained the Hindu literature based on which we should feel the pride that we have got thousands and thousands of literature written by thousands of rishis for the last many thousands of years on thousands of subjects. Today I will be just explaining to you how scientific our customs and rituals. You know, Christians perform the scientific and rituals and the Muslims also perform the, the rituals, customs and rituals for appeasing the God. They praise the God, they offer to the God and for them the God is the manager and the Christians and Muslims are the slaves of the God. They praise the God and after praising an MLA and MP they will be getting everything from the, from the God. From the God just like an MLA and MP gives them everything. And they offer money to the God and in return they, the God will be, become happy and send them to the heaven and never send them to the hell. So the God is the director and all others are workers for the God, for Christianity and Muslim. Whereas here, in India, I am the manifestation of God. God is within me, Aham Brahmasmi. You are also the manifestation of God, Tattvamasi. All whatever is existing here in this world, they are the manifestation of the God. There is no question of God sitting there and I am sitting here. There is no question of I and you, only the question of we. We exist. Still remember that we also offer something to the God and we explain the God, not praise the God. Why we explain the God? Through the explanation we will understand what is meant by the God. So Sahasra Sirisha Purusha Sahasra Aksha Sahasra Bhat. This is explanation of the God. So Gandhadvara Amdradrisha Nitya Ushtan Krishnim Ishwarim Sarva Bhutana Pami Goba Hoyesriya. Explanation of the God, not praising the God. When you explain the God automatically, your mind will get filled with the meaning and message of God. We offer everything to the God. You know, let do we offer. We offer payasam, putting it to the God. And while offering, we say that I am not offering this to make you happy. I am not offering this to get to your favor for going to the heaven. I am offering this to you not for preventing my going to hell. I am offering this to you by saying that Agnaye Swaha, Agnaye Idam Namama. This does not belong to me. This is also your product. This belongs to you. But why I offer you? For taking it back as prasadam. Your contribution to me. You give me whatever I offered to you and I consider this as your prasadam. It is something like one comparison, don't compare that exactly. We give income tax to government, sale tax to government, property tax to government and a variety of taxes we give to the government, that money comes back to you. That comes to us back. So whatever we give to the nature as God, 
that comes back to us. So, but it will be the prasadam, government's offering to us and God's offering to us. So, all whatever is offered according to our customs and rituals, we get it back as prasadam. Whereas you just see in the church, the, the wine is taken as the blood of Jesus. How horrible it is. The bread is taken as the body of Jesus. And the customs and rituals according to which the cross is put in their chain. The cross is put above the dead body. Cross is put while performing the marriage. But remember, that cross, what is the meaning of that? That cross is the one on which God's son Jesus was crucified. It is the most horrible negative tool which the Christians worship. It is just like worshipping the pistol used for killing Mahatma Gandhi. In India, you can see all the customs and rituals. Acharat Labadehyayu, Acharat Dhanamakshayam, Acharat Labadeh Supraja, Acharo Handya Lakshana. Our customs and rituals are not meant for praising the God or making the God happy or getting maximum from God or for cheating the God or giving the bribe to the God. Not at all. If we give money to the temple, that is meant for Panja Mahayatnya. The customs and rituals tells you offer the money to the God for Deva Yatnya, Rishi Yatnya, Buddha Yatnya, Pidra Yatnya and Manisha Yatnya. The Panja Mahayatnya where consuming by the God your money given is not a tolerizing. And you see all the customs and rituals. You can explain those customs and rituals so systematically and scientifically if you have got an open mind to classify these customs and rituals under five categories, sometimes six categories. Any customs and ritual you take from Islam or Christianity, you cannot justify that scientifically, logically and rationally. They are the question stand. I am afraid of God, God fearing people, I give this to the God, I stay with the God, I work for the God and I am the part of the army of the God just like salvation army so that God will be always protecting me just like the policemen do it for the people. So God has got the role of a policeman. God has got the role of a judge there, here. God is part of us. The nature is the God. The nature protects us. You just see customs and rituals of Hindus. When I bless you, the brain chemistry changes. There the question of God is not coming at all. When I motivate you, when I pray, prayer is not that God is giving something to you. But your mind will be getting elevated with the self-confidence. When I chant the mantra, neuro-linguistic effect, curative chemicals are produced in the brain. So mantra chanting is not for appeasing the God or praising the God. And when I, whenever I go to the temple, it's a, an elevating the mind, body and family relation and social bondage. And Chetra Darshanam is not compulsory because the God is not going to curse you at all even whether you go to the temple or not. And when you do the Pradakshinam for the Banyan tree, Ashwatha Vriksha, it's the ozone produced by that plant, that tree, gives you comfort by purification of the lungs. And when you do Surya Namaskara, it is not that the God or Lord Son, Surya Deva, is coming here and going to bless you. When you do Surya Namaskara, Sun Salutation, it gives you full exercise of, of the 186 movable joint of the body. Blood circulation increases. All the lactic acid accumulated in the muscle 
will get a diffusion to the blood and through kidney it will be removed. So, Surya Namaskara is an exercise for the bone, for the muscles, for the ligaments and for improving the blood circulation. Science is there in Surya Namaskara. So, All India Institute of Medical Science doctors have declared that Surya Namaskara is the king of the exercises. When you meditate, your brain activity will be improved. So, meditation to the Jesus Christ means it is against Christianity and by what? Such daylight cheating. How can you meditate on a human being who lived 2000 years ago and crucified that man by the Christians? As George Bernard Shah said, only one Christian existed in the world, that man was killed by these Christians. So, whenever somebody is done, when you do, when you sit for a Ramsan fasting, before the sunrise you eat maximum and after sunset also you eat maximum. It is the worst thing that anybody can think of as far as the health of the body is concerned. Whereas fasting means, literally the fasting means from night, next day morning, next day lunch, next day dinner and the third day breakfast only will be there. Number one, first of the month, evening food is taken, second of the month absolutely nothing except drinking water. And the third day morning only you will be taking the breakfast. So, fasting means 36 hours fasting, not 9.5 hours of fasting, eating beef in the morning, eating beef in the night and telling it is the name of God, Allah. How horrible that will be? You ask the doctors how they will be telling and you are throwing the stones while going for Hajj. Do you think anybody is there naming Satan or devil? If you throw the stone, it is nothing but copying what Ibrahim Nabi did 1300 years ago or far before that. You are only copying. Why you are copying? Is it for your mind? Is it for your body? Is it for your family relation? Is it for your social bondage? Or is it for your national integration? Nothing works there. At least no explanation can be given there, scientifically. But here you see when you are doing a Gana Homa, Ganapati Homa is generally performed in the temples, the, the coconut husk put in the fire produces sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. As you all know, the coconut husk has got maximum sulfur in that. So the sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide produced when the husk is burned, and the phenol produced when coconut shell is burned and pyrocenes produced when coconut is burned all the three groups of chemicals are fantastic antibacterial, antiviral so every microorganism particularly pathogenic organism present in the building house that will be destroyed you can see one Gana Homa, Ganapati Homa per year can can kill or annihilate the bacteria or virus or is the instrumental for producing typhoid, tetanus, pneumonia, fever and so on. So just to see how scientific it is. You can explain. When you use Tulasi, sacred basil, it is the one of the best medicine existing in the world, can be consumed and can be used and ex for the external application and uh, all the rituals, 16 sacraments Karbhadhanam, Nishkramanam, Annaprasanam, Chudagarnam, Namagarnam all the 16 sacraments are primarily meant for family relation building sociologically, psychologically, anthropologically the, the effect is so tremendous that family relation building will be undertaken through the sacraments and you are calling the pupil for the family based rituals, social bondage. All the rituals have got one impact, social bondage. Another impact, that family relation building. 
and you can see grama devata sangalpa grama devata means the people from a village assemble together for sharing caring and curing kudumba devata sangalpa all the family relatives of many generation they assemble sociologically important for building the family relation and you go to the pilgrimage to amarnath go to rishikesh haridwar not for praising the god or getting the blessing of the god the god is not going to write in his diary book that govinda krishna came to rishikesh and took a dip in ganga water god is not going to bother whether you have gone to amarnath or kailas or anything these are all karma dynamics not only that national integration majority of indians at least once in his or her life go to rishikesh and haridwar if you go there you can see per day about 10 lakh people take the dip in ganga water whether it is winter or rainy season or summer what happens people from different walks of life from different part of india they assemble there and they all feel that we are the children of bharat mata we are all the children of the one nation that national integration is there this is this is when you chant the mantra gange jay mane jay va godavari saraswati this mantra is not written after 1947 august 14th midnight written for the last thousands of years in padma purana and vishnu purana so during then india was one ayodhya madura maya kashi kanchi avantika the names of seven cities the names of names of seven rivers names of seven heroes ashwatthama bali vyaso hanumam cha vibhishana kripa parashurama cha this are all creating an impression in the mind that we were indians we are indians and we will be indians and india is one in fact the britishers created the splitting of india under the guidance of jawaharlal nehru under linguistic background now anyway slowly it is disappearing it is becoming for the convenience of governments big states are split into two or three so that changes them now you can see any ritual you take when you chant a kirtan when you chant gayatri mantra when you chant veda mantra you can see many of the scientists in nasa they are chanting veda mantra for improving the brain performance not that god is improving his brain but the neuro linguistic and psycho linguistic effect created when mantras are listened or chanted now for that matter you take any customs and rituals which has got a root of hindu dharma you remember that the caste system existed thousands of years ago it was professionally oriented now the caste system has been distorted by the british people and labeled as birth oriented but you see chadurvarnyam maya srishtam guna karma vibhagashah guna karma depending upon the nature of your profession guna karma vibhagashah depending upon your profession if your profession is learning and teaching vedas then you are called a brahmana if you are opting for a profession of protecting the country as a soldier then you are known as a kshatriya if you would like to do the business agriculture and marketing then your name is vaishya and if you are interested in masonry work carpentry work and other service oriented work then you are called as shudra janmanal jayade matya by birth everyone is human being karmanal jayade dvija by opting for a profession just like you are becoming a doctor engineer or civil service or clerk or pun or a policeman or a chartered accountant by profession you are named as brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra <coughs> any shudra can elevate to the level of vaishya 
any Vaishya can get himself elevated to Kshatriya and Vishwamitra was a Kshatriya. He got elevated into Brahmana level and wrote all the Vedas. Dronajarya was a Brahmana. He got converted into Kshatriya and fought the war in battlefield of Mahabharata, Purukshetra. So anyone can jump from one profession to other profession. That's what we are seeing now also. A clerk can become a director and and a clerk's son can become a military man or a policeman and a farmer's son can become opt for Indian Army or Indian Army man. His son can opt for IAS or he can become an MLA or MP. Fortunately not from Kerala. Don't become an MP from Kerala. And because then you have to start with the uh, supporting all the negatives done by the minorities. So, be an MLA or MP in other state of India. So, remember that whenever you are opting for a profession, you will be known accordingly. So, here we have got so many castes. 1400 castes are there in Kerala. In India, still more are there. So, caste is not Varna. Chadur Varnyam, four Varnas are not caste. The wrong way of interpreting. Caste and Varna are different. Varna is based on profession. Caste is created by recently by the people. So, these are all the negatives created for which our forefathers are not responsible. Many of the Acharas and the Durajaras or Anachara of which Sadachara is created by our forefathers which can be explained by scientific and logical and rational way. So we are the only group of people in the world, Hindus are the only group of the people in the world, whatever they perform as customs and rituals which can be explained in the way of the language of science for the understanding and practicing of Anybody in the world, anybody in the world, the moment you explain it scientifically, people will accept it. If you do not know science, it is your mistake. If it is explained by scientifically, even the doctors or engineers or professionals or intellectuals or scholars or thinkers, it will not be difficult at all for them to understand. So, whenever Somebody is asking, particularly Muslims, Christians and the so-called progressive leftist asking a question about our customs and rituals proudly say that we belong to a scientific religion. So Hindu Dharma is a scientific Hinduism. Scientific Hinduism, maybe that our forefathers were not a well versed with the modern words of science. They may not be well versed with the modern words of science. But the message of science can be used for explaining the customs and rituals. That's the importance. So science is universal subject. So our customs and rituals, the moment you explain with science, the whole thing become universal. So feel proud that you are a Hindu and pray if you have got hundred more Janma. You should get the birth as a Hindu and live like a Hindu. Teach Hindu Dharma to Hindus, Christians and Muslims and bring them back to the real Indian spirit and real Indian blood. Inform them that the Bible is not written for Hindus and the Bible, Biblical customs and rituals are meant for the people of Israel, not for Indians. You see, even cutting a cake, you are blowing off the light, the lamp. When we pray, Jodi Shuklascha Dejascha Devanam Satudam Priya, Prabhagaro Mahate Yodi Poyam Pratikrishita. We used to put the lamb even for the God's son. Son we used to put. Because blowing of the light is the negative. Lighting the lamb is the positive. So we pray Tamasoma Yodir Gamaya. But while cutting the cake we blow off the light 
and do jodhir matam sogamaya. This is western culture, not Indian culture. Eating the beef, chicken for excellent housewarming ceremony and marriage ceremony and variety of festivals. These are all negatives. Later added durachalas. Durachalas are added by the recent generation whereas Sadachara belong to our people. So Indian customs and rituals are scientific, logical and rational. Can be explained by anyone if they have got a BSc level of scientific background with these words. I would like to do my pranams to you. Thank you very much.